So we're back, it's 2021, and personally, I'm super excited about what this year has to bring, and I hope you are too. Now, about a year ago, I did a video within my training site for my members only, and it was about the theory of using blending tools and techniques to repair minor damage in paintless dent removal. Now, I had some good comments and good feedback from the video, saying that some of the illustrations really helped understand the theory and the process. So I wanted to share at least a snippet of that training video with you viewers here on YouTube, and hopefully it will just kind of help bring up some of the knowledge and understanding on at least the theory or the science of using blending tools and techniques for repairing and finishing damage with paintless dent removal. So let's have a look at that video now, and I'll see you again at the end. So here on our kind of panel, You've got a slight crown or a ridge, um, and this should be roughly flat, but potentially a low spot down here. Now, it is a little bit like with um, your tap down in the hammer, that you're tapping down this, this high, and it's spreading out the metal either way. But by tapping it with the, the blending hammer and repeatedly tapping it and getting that nice um, rhythm and building up that energy and momentum in the panel, you're creating those waves that come across here so by tapping down this section, and sometimes you can do it with a, a bit of an angle on the hammer. So rather than coming down directly flat, you're coming at the angle, eff effectively sending the metal that way. So each time you tap it, you're creating these little form, little waveforms. Just these little energy ripples that go across the panel. And what that's effectively doing, as that metal comes down, it's sending this section, this little low, is starting to come up again. But what's really good about the blending is you're working on more than one low at a time. So you might have, obviously this is just the angle from this way, if it was a looking down onto the panel, so you've got like your aerial view, and here's our dent. So this is roughly what I was doing on the roof of the Renault Clio. So we had a dent here that I'm blending. Um, but as you're tapping this, you are getting slight ripples, even though you can't see them, um, you are getting ripples that go across the panel. So you can have a low spot just outside the dent area, and those same ripples in that um, yeah, ripple effect, the waveform, are going to send energy across and start to lift those lows a little bit. Now, obviously, your panel wouldn't look like this, but for the, hopefully it's a bit of an easy way of seeing it in a, in a picture on this whiteboard. Um, so each time you are tapping, and you've got, your, you've got your blending hammer tapping down this, you're effectively sending little waves this way, little waves this way, and each one of those waves just gradually starts to bring that up. At the same time, you're taking down that high. Um, so over the process, obviously, um, for example, again, in the video uh, blending part one, we are working at the edge of a panel. So once you've got that kind of fold or the edge where the roof comes down in my video example, the energy can't go further than the end of the panel or the tight spot in there. So as you're tapping, although we're tapping on the front left corner, um, the energy stops when it gets to the ridge, but continues on very lightly and probably just fades out right across to the back section of the panel. Um, so if you were to pit like a marble or ball bearing at the complete opposite side of the roof panel and start tapping diagonally the, the other corner, it's going to send enough energy to move that ball bearing or marble um, from one side to the other, just by that slight vibration across the panel. Um, so hopefully that explains a little bit about the, the theory of blending, with it being more of a, a technique in the hammer process and creating energy and waveforms, as opposed to um, the just tapping down the high spots and evening out the lows. So there's a bit more understanding in kind of the that 
I think reverberation um, or vibration at least across the panel um, and really starting to move that metal around. I mean with steel it's got a memory to it so it wants to go back. Um, I don't think it would be as effective with aluminium panels and also it's quite difficult if your dent was in the center of a sheet metal, so the center of a roof panel. Um, trying to blend there is going to be a lot harder and probably less successful um, because as you're tapping you're creating those waves and it's got such a big area to go across whereas if it's on the front corner you're really focusing that energy around bouncing off these bits because you'll get uh, a certain part of the energy uh, waveform that will come against as far as it can go and then to a certain degree travel back on itself. So it's definitely easier blending um, on the corner of a panel or where there's at least a ridge form, giving it some kind of structure or shape. So often you'll see blending videos and it's the, probably the most common area it's used is on the roof rails of a car. So looking front on at a car, you've got your, your roof, your kind of windscreen here and pillars coming down. So quite often if this is your main roof panel, you've just got rails, like roof rails down the side. And because they're curved already, they're already under such a sort of tension and form that you can really send those waveforms down the panel and restrict it into just these areas. So you're not sending the vibrations all across down here, all across the roof. You're really focusing it just on that roof rail and it traveling down the rail. So it's very effective on those kind of areas where you've got a curve in a panel or you're at the edge of a uh, the edge of a panel where there's some structure in it like a roof rail. So let's take a look at the the slow motion version of me tapping with the hammer and I'm working on the bonnet panel of the Renault Clio that we've got to as our practice car. So I'm using the like I say the Shane Jacks blending hammer but any blending hammer is going to do the same process just your own preference um, and hopefully the slow-mo shows the kind of the way that the hammer um, is bouncing off the panel and creating that kind of uh, vibration. So let's take a look at that. So first we do it in real time and this is me just literally letting that hammer drop against the panel. And then as I speed up a bit which um, simulates the actual process, again still in real time, just that tapping. But in this next clip I really slow it down. So using that slow-mo you can see, um, just see the difference in the way that that's uh, tapping the panel and that bounce back. And we'll do a slightly different angle and again, slightly slower. Now this is not necessarily how I would blend, but shows the, the process slowed down. So you're not just tapping it once, you're letting that kind of bounce back happen. And then the final clip, really nice and slow again. Now each time you're doing it, you're doing it very quickly as you'll see in the blending part one video and any of my other videos with blending. But this slowed down version hopefully indicates just what that hammer is doing and that kind of um, the bounce back or double tap being able to push those energy forms and create ripples across the panel. And in this next clip, we've got the, the cable. So what I'm doing basically is holding out, I've laid out um, probably 10, 10 meters of cable length and I'm holding one end of the cable, pulling it up and whipping it, sending a um, energy or sending that waveform across the cable. So let's watch that and you'll see that in slow motion as well and hopefully really kind of illustrate just that momentum that can be carried across the, um, the cable. So here I've got my blue uh, extension cable laid out and I'm just doing it in real time. You can see just how fast whipping that, um, whipping that cable across and sending that wave across. And again, speeding it up like you would do in the blending process. I just change the angle slightly and put it onto slow-mo. And just watch as that wave travels across right to the other side of that cable. So this indicates what you're doing with your, your blending hammer on one side. And as you're tapping it, you're picking up and creating a waveform that then travels right across the other side. And as we change to just a slightly different angle, this is more head on. 
Um, hopefully what this will illustrate is if you have like um, a low spot, so say to the right hand side of this particular picture, by creating that wave, you're sending energy and sending that metal across. So your low spot on the right is automatically lifted up where that uh, cable indicates that waveform being a bit higher. So just watch it once again. And then in this example, we're showing the slow motion ripple effect. So a droplet of water um, dropped onto water and it's creating that uh, ripple. So you get a real perfect circle ripple that spans out from the point of impact. So the water droplet symbolizes the, the strike of the hammer face hitting that panel and then creating a wave or ripple effect around it. So let's take a look at that. And as that droplet of water comes down, it hits the water, creates that impact and splashes. You see that ripple that's just traveled across the panel. So this indicates again, just another version or example of a waveform and the way it travels. So the video clip we just watched is taken from part one of my five part video series specifically on blending. Now the full series is available over at our site learnpdronline.com but it is available for our members only. But the good news is later on this month we are reopening our training site. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about paintless dent removal, you can head over to our site, join the waitlist, and you'll be updated as soon as those dates and prices get released. Now I really hope you have found the video useful and enjoyable. And if you have, don't forget you can hit the thumbs up to like the video. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about paintless dent removal, then you can also subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell notification, you're going to get updated every time we release a new video. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm Tom with Learn PDR Online and as always, thank you for watching.